Hi, welcome to the last in the series of the videos. Anybody who's watched all the others, you'll be glad it's the last one. Anyway, this is part three of the milling, which is part four of the anvil build. So, thank you very much for your interest, and let's get on with the video. I've reset the anvil up this way up. That's where I took that cut earlier. And I'm trying to just show that I'm centred by eye the um, cutter in the radius there. Hopefully, yeah, that's about it, isn't it? And then what I've done, I've moved the cutter out a little bit so it will cover the width of the cut. Like I say, this isn't absolutely ideal because it is trying to undo the collet, but we'll give it a go. Right, I've been cutting that surface there, but I've only got a little bit to do, but I'm nearly down to there. Plus I'm having to sort of come in along and out. I haven't got enough travel. So I think I'm going to re-jig this all up. I'm going to turn the plate round, put it on this way round, and do my cuts that way. And I should be able to do it in one stroke then, and I can use the power feed, so that might be better, mightn't it? Sorry, I don't think I was aiming very well then. Right, back in a minute. That's better. I've set it up like that. I've used this little block here to kind of, it's not actually very tight, but it just sets that square. I made, I made this when I was an apprentice as part of a V block set. And I'm just taking a cut across now. So that's good because that can be done on the power feed and it does it without any messing about. It'll make a nicer finish. I can just keep going until that surface blends into that radius. I eyeballed it from the end there so that I could see that the cutter was roughly or slightly to that side of the radius. This is the um, setup for the that under face. I've never actually used the vice that way around before but we'll see how it goes. It's just touching the tip and it's just touching that bit of rough saw cut at the back and it's just touched that side there so Let's see how it goes, I'll bring you back in a minute. I realised that um, I hadn't quite got enough swing on the cutter. It wasn't reaching into that radius on the, you know, that I'm trying to blend into and the point. So I've had to reset everything and I'm giving it another go. I, um, also checked that the collet was tightened. I was able to tighten it a tiny little bit, so oh, it's always worth checking because, like I said before, this um, fly cutter isn't a proper fly cutter and it tends to undo the collet, hence the very light cuts. I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to clean this up and not go too far into that radius. Then I will see. Kind of, um, I'm a bit annoyed because I haven't cleaned up that area of the saw cut in there. Um, but I have met the radius of the uh, fillet. So I'm going to carry on, but I'll have to kind of hand blend it with a bar later. But what I'm doing, as I'm going down, as I'm bringing the table up five thou, I'm bringing the table this way towards me by 15 thou, so I'm kind of 
hopefully creating a little bit of a slope which might be easier to blend out. Let's get in there in that saw cut now. Maybe one more pass will do it. Actually maybe that pass will do it. I think that's just cleaned up so yeah that's good. I'll leave it at that now and that gives me a few fair there to blend with the pile. Cool. Last little job I'm going to try and do is to um, spot face and drill four holes. I've got this cutter I, don't, I think a chap at work gave it me. Um, it's brand new, I've just had to undo it. It's razor sharp and it does will cut the spot face. It's just a Morse taper, it isn't locked in with a um, thingy bob, you know, a draw bar. But I've just squared the thing up to the bed like that. So that's okay, I think. So I'm going to sorry get the edge get the edge make a spot face and then drill I might have to move that there I might not have enough clearance there for a drill so I'll probably just have to move everything a little bit anyway hopefully it should be okay back in a bit well that's not going to work with the tooling I've got I can't get anywhere near it with the bulk of this here there even with that tucked under I've given up on that <coughs> I've given up on that um, idea where I was trying to drill from this side so I thought well I'll just get the holes in so what I've done I've gone three quarters that way three quarters that way three quarters that way three quarters that way and I've put two holes in and I've drilled six and a half millimetres and then ten millimetres so that's a clearance on a three eight. it's going okay I've set the set the dial at zero there and I've set the dial at zero here but I don't really need that so I'm just going to wind over here drill that one and then go there and come back to zero on this dial to get me back to there hopefully that will work I've established a setup the fly cutter is backwards cutting underneath and I've just about got it set up I'll take some closer pictures but this is the routine Right, I'll try and go through the routine one handed so that's at 40 clunk up to 35 oop, clunk like I say it's hard to do it one handed up to 35 there what, start winding the cutter in there and what I do I look for that that thing there that's to do with the stuff then I engage the manual feed the automatic feed rather that starts cutting then it cuts out I grab the handle, push it away like that so that's at 35, so down up to 30 start winding it in manual clunk and then under there it's cutting across and then it gets into the edge and you push it away quick because it squeaks so that's okay I'll stop at that because it's a bit hard to do one Andy but you get the idea just finished the uh, second one there looks all right like a widow's peak owl eyes owl eyes staring at you just cut the last two 
the one this side, what I've done, I've got a, like, um, I've used that tip in that tool for the, for the vast majority of the cutting. So what I'm going to do now is just swap in a good tip. What I've done, I've used one tip to do the finishing cut on all, all the other three, so I'm going to put the other tip in and just do one last pass. So uh, I'll just swap the tip and then I'll, I'll film the last cut. So there's, there's the new tip. That tip has just done the three other. There's the old one I've just taken off. So, starter up. Bring her into. Now, because this is on this side and it's going that way around, the chips do come this way, so engage the auto feed. makes that louder noise when it goes past the hole. It looks like it's going to crash into the tool but it stops just shut. I'm reaching over for the handle so I can wind it back now. And because this is a finishing cut I'll just wind it back very slowly. These um, cutting tips and things came from Banggood. I mean, I'm not, you know, not sponsored by them, but I was very impressed. I've seen other YouTube people say it, that they're all right, and so I bought a set, and they have been very good. Right, I'll take it out. I'll probably just run a counter ball around those holes, or just a big drill, turn a big drill in them. And then that that will be more or less it then, other than cleaning up. I've had one little visit from Mr. Bozo. What I found was that the bolts that you can put in there and turn, and the one at the back, wouldn't go into this one. It was, I think this hole was slightly too far that way. I didn't want to recut the fly cuts because the the pattern looks nice on the other side. So I've had to put a. I just found a ten and a half mil end mil slot drill, wherever they are, and I've just had to slot this hole a little bit. This mach, this material is so tough. It, these high speed steel cutters really do not like it. So there you are, there's the anvil. It's um, a nice little thing. I was, I was quite pleased in the end the way this part came out. It looks really nice, Pure, <laughs> purely non-functional, but you just like things to look nice, don't you? And I was quite pleased about how this feature came out as well. It looks, it looks nice. I mean, I, I could have just spot faced them if I'd have had a, you know, a spot fact spot face cutter or a, a, a counter bore cutter to just spot face in there but I don't have one and like I say anything high speed steel just doesn't last but I thought this came out quite well considering what I got to work with the face is nice and smooth these faces are nice you know came out okay I mean this was these were done with a high speed steel and uh, let's just face it that cutter's now <laughs> that cutter's now scrapped so that's the way it goes. Like I said, um, so like I said in the previous video, I, would, I might have done it slightly smaller, which would have helped in the band. So, but on the milling machine, it, it was fine. It was fun. I enjoyed doing it. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it interesting. I've enjoyed um, making the item. I've enjoyed making the videos, and I hope that you you know click like and I hope that you leave a comment and if you like you you're perfectly welcome to subscribe the comments I appreciate because you know it's always good to get feedback it takes a lot of work putting the videos out so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again on the next one thank you bye bye